Good evening. Uh, this is the uh, PMBC meeting for June 20 or uh, July uh, 8th. Um, we'll open the meeting with uh, uh, approval of the. Uh, oh, I guess I better pull up the uh, agenda here. Um, We have the warrant is the uh, first item of business tonight. Um, I think all the board members received a copy. Uh, there are four items on the uh, warrant. Uh, the first two are for the uh, highway department. They are Gale Associates, uh, two invoices for uh, work on the roof. The first one is, and th these are kind of past due. Uh, they kind of got lost somewhere to December and February. Um, the first one is for $1,327.50. And the second one is for $500. Um, Chris uh, Stoddard has uh, recommended approval for these two invoices. The third invoice is for the library. It's for Vertex uh, for OPM services in the amount of $5,737.50. And the last um, invoice is for the police department uh, from uh, CBI Consulting. It's their last invoice for the uh, their portion of the uh, preliminary design and investigation, $5,250 for total amount of 12000 $815. So we'll have to do a roll call vote to uh, approve the uh, minute, uh, the, uh, the warrant. Do I have uh, a motion to approve? I'll make, make a motion. motion. Go ahead, Brian. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll Brian. second it. Uh, all in favor? Bob Romley, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Motion carries. Thanks very much. Uh, the next item of business is the approval of the minutes for June 24th. Um, the minutes were revised. Uh, were there any other corrections? I didn't see any in it, Steve. <clears throat> I only had one, <clears throat> and it was on the uh, roll call for the minutes of June 12th. And it said it was a unanimous vote, and it uh, did not have a yes uh, comment by Rich Crowley, so I just added that in there. So uh, do I have a motion to approve the uh, minutes from uh, June 24th? I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. <laughs> second. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Bob Rama, yes. Brian Pesquale, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, Steve, we got uh, Timlin in here now. We have what? Timlin. She, she uh, got... Well, she hasn't been sworn in yet. Okay, so she just just in on the meeting then. Oh, hi, Timlin. How are you? Yeah. You're muted. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> so uh, I just want to confirm that you have not been sworn in yet. For the school committee? Yes, I have. No, but for PMBC? No, I haven't, Dwight. That's okay. a whole other thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, well, welcome, and uh, glad to have you aboard. Thank you. Um, okay, I lost my place here. Uh, the Houghton Building, Rich was supposed to give us an update, and I don't see that Caroline is on. So um, the last that I heard the painter still had to clean up some of his uh, scaffolding and, and uh, tarps, uh, so I don't have an update on that. Uh, the police station, uh, Brian, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Sure, thank you. As of uh, 20 minutes ago, we just received our 75% uh, construction documents from CBI. Terrific. So I, I admittedly haven't even put eyes on them yet, but. 
Uh, we'll be taking the next few days and digesting them, also going through the specification and coming up with some, with some comments. Um, I encourage anyone in PMBC if they'd like to take a look at them as well and, and get some comments on those as well and try to get them to me in the next, uh, by the beginning of next week. Um, according to Arno at CBI's preliminary schedule, uh, we need to have a meeting with him on Wednesday so that we can incorporate all of our comments that we have. Uh, the, the following Thursday after that meeting, we will advertise with the Central Register. He will incorporate all of our comments at that point and it will be posted in the Central Register uh, the following Wednesday. <clears throat> so, uh, do I need to uh, forward that information to the team or um, is that something that you're, you're going to do, Brian? I will take care of that. He had just he actually just has sent the, the drawings, so I'll still be waiting for the specifications. We'll get that out. I'll be really um, interested to see what the chief wants to do about laydown areas. Arno had some suggestions, um, but that's going to be my main area of concern, as well as other uh, temp facilities. And I want to make sure that his documents are reflecting the budget that we had gave him uh, in our meeting a couple weeks ago. So when you were out this morning, did you stop by the police station? I did not. Okay, because I, I think the chief said he would be available today if uh, somebody wanted to stop by. Yeah, that, in, in case we had any questions about Arno not getting the documents to us, and then he said he would make sure that he had them to us today. Okay, so, okay uh, very good. And we'll, uh, do, we'll send out a... Go ahead. At the last meeting, we had... Uh, I guess Arno had uh, requested uh, any O&M manuals that might be available. Was there any uh, success on that front? No, we did not. We didn't have find anything. And as of now, the, the chief had reached out to the former chief and had not found anything at that at this point. So uh, CBI will be going on their, um, their best guess and suggestion on materials. Okay. Ryan, did you get the, um, the email that I sent back to you regarding the Mason that did the uh, demolition work for the investigation? Yes. Because he, yeah. he had the specs on the, um, the concrete and the brick. The, the guys that did the um, destructive testing? Yes. Right. Yes. Yep. Well, we, we, got, we got those out of the specifications. What we were looking for were O&M manuals. Right. So, um, so what the, I'll do is I'll send out a, a, a poll to everyone. If there's a, a time that maybe... Um, us as a collective internal group want to meet before we talk with Arno on Wednesday um, and we can discuss our comments and if there are any issues that we have with his, with his CDs at this point. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> anything else on police station? As of right now, no. You'll be seeing some emails coming back with uh, trying to get in touch with the chief. And uh, as of now, the schedule that was sent by Arno uh, currently has us going out to bid on the 22nd of July and the following week we'd be having our pre-bid meeting so as of right now we are on schedule according to that so from the uh, PMBC team um, if we can get our comments back to Brian uh, by Monday that'd be great so we can collate them and uh, get them over to Arno Ryan, you trying to do a, um, a meeting online or a face-to-face -face meeting or what? Online would be fine. If we can use, we can use Zoom or where I can use the Teams meeting where I can share my I can share my screen and kind of go through page by page if we have comments that way. Great. Okay. Uh, library update, uh, Brian. Again. Yeah, we have a little more. A little more activity than the police station right now. If anyone's been back there, you could see there's been a, quite a few trees that have come down and the clearing's been underway and they've started their cut for the knotweed eradication. Uh, so that's being stockpiled up in the, in the parking lot right now. Uh, it needs to be tested before it's properly disposed of. So that's what we're going through right now. Other owner activities include um, working with uh, Littleton Electric about getting Temp Electric on site uh, they were they have been marking out some of the areas today, um, so we'll be working with them as well as the 
electrical contractor about building building the stanchion and temporary panels that need to go next to the trailer. Um, we also had a discussion with uh, Joseph Layden, the assistant town administrator. Um, we had at the request of Ed Mullins, the building commissioner, to put a stripe in the parking lot to create a two lane access on the right side of town hall, uh, entering off of um, Shattuck. King Street. Shattuck, yeah. Shattuck Street, yeah. Uh, he's happy with the, the, the striping. Um, I kind of let Commodore and um, the, the project team know if there's going to be any other work that's outside the work for the construction fence that we'd like to let every, the staff know at town hall before it happens. Um, they were a little off guard, taken off guard on that, although it doesn't really affect the traffic uh, plan at this point. We have a uh, tentatively scheduled for tearing up the road off of Shattuck street in late September. So there's a few months of um, acclimating that the, that the staff can do. Other things that we're taking care of right now is we're signing up our testing agent. I have two quotes right now. I'm waiting on a third for procurement purposes. So I'll be making a recommendation to the PMBC once I get my third quote. We'll be getting them on site to be taking some test samples of soils and we'll have them throughout the duration of construction for testing such as uh, weld testing, compaction testing, and concrete strength testing. I'm also procuring builder's risk insurance through the town, which through the contract is being supplied by the town. Today I met with uh, Vertex's site representative on site. His name is Ray Perrazzo. He, uh, as I told Steve earlier, he at first wasn't our first pick to be out on site uh, for, this, for this job. Uh, due to the pandemic situation, the person we had lined up was not able to get over there at this time. But we felt as though Ray was a good pick. He's a, he's a seasoned veteran who has a lot of experience in, in site and concrete work. Uh, so we felt as though this is a really good stage for him to be in this project. Um, if we feel as though that a, a shift in clerk needs to happen, um, I'll make sure we, I speak with Steve first and we can go over um, you know, that process. And, and if, there's, if, if we feel as though um, Ray's right for the job or if, if there's someone else that would be better at the, for later on stages in construction. And lastly, we have our groundbreaking tomorrow night. I, I see Mark Rambacher's on the call if he wanted to say a few words about it, but uh, that's scheduled for four o'clock uh, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, so this is Mark. We have the groundbreaking at four o'clock tomorrow. I think we'll have four or five speakers. I've worked with Commodore on setting up um, the groundbreaking basically will be inside the fence by the last telephone pole. Um, the telephone pole that's being removed with the uh, uh, the cameras on it. Uh, we're going to set up some chairs and whatnot and um, hopefully it'll go smoothly and the weather will cooperate. So, so <clears throat> before the meeting, Mark, there was some concern about uh, holding the ceremony after work hours inside the fence because what we want to do is make sure the fence is closed off after the workers leave. Um, maybe we could relocate the groundbreaking to the left of the project fence along the uh, timber barrier that, you know, at the top of the hill. Um, I can talk with, I think Al's going to be there um, yes. tomorrow at the groundbreaking. So, <laughs> That's um, correct. So Commodore will be there to help secure the area afterwards, I believe. Um, I can check with him in the morning about that. Um, okay. okay, there was just some concern, and uh, we thought we'd bring it up. Also, uh, Brian, uh, Commodore is not closing the fence at the end of the day, so we need to talk to them about securing the job site every evening. Absolutely. Okay. I'll do that this evening. Okay. And that's all I have for an update right now for, for the library. Um, Mark, do you, uh, do you want to talk any more about the uh, groundbreaking? Um, nope, I think we're good. Hopefully okay. everyone can make it. And then uh, <clears throat> how did that, how did the flyer go out? Did you get much of a response? Uh, so we posted the groundbreaking on Facebook. It was in the independent. Um, I think it went out on Twitter. Um, 
Um, the independent said to actually RSVP, so I've gotten a handful, but uh, the flyer didn't actually say to RSVP, so um, I don't know how many people will actually show up. So Okay. Um, and there'll be how many shovels and hard hats? There'll be 10? I think there's 10 shovels and a dozen hard hats. Okay. Commodore's providing the sh Commodore's providing hard hats and the highway department ordered shovels. Great. I have a good supply of uh, uh, sterile wipes if we want. I can bring those to site if uh, anyone has concerns about wiping down some surfaces or reusing um, shovels or hard hats. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I We're going to take um, – so – uh, the trust, the friends of the library are going to be selling uh, masks uh, if people need them, or we'll be supplying free ones um, from the library as well. We ordered masks that have the library logo on them, so they'll get as a an item to sell for a little bit of fundraising. So those Terrific. will be a great. Anything we'll be down for one. <laughs> yeah. Anything else on the library? No, sir. All right. Not for me. Uh, TBDPW roof update. Um, <clears throat> there's still no update on that. Uh, as far as I know, the work has not started. This, they're still about six months behind schedule. Uh, Rich, since uh, I saw you uh, just joined us, uh, anything on the uh, Houghton building? Yeah. The, uh, the painter still has some touch-up to do. He came back and did a day's worth of touch-up. Um, I think it was last weekend, and he said he'd probably be by tomorrow or Friday, we'll, and we'll see. It's just a little bit. It's over one of the windows where he did all that patchwork and uh, something in the front, around the front entry. Just small stuff. A couple of hours worth of work. That's it. Rainy day work, huh? Yeah. So far, he's been true to his word about coming back. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, the place looks really good. Good. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, with all the rain uh, that we're going to have in the next couple of days, we'll <coughs> monitor uh, and make sure it's not leaking inside, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it better not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Um, we're at member input. Uh, Bob, do you have anything? I'm all set, Steve. Uh, Brian? Uh, I'm all set as well, Steve. Thanks. Richard? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I joined in late. I was trying. Um, I finally figured it out. What time is the groundbreaking tomorrow? Four o'clock. Okay, great. That should work out. Great. Thank you. And Tamlin, uh, welcome aboard. Thank you. So, Rich, since you uh, joined us late, Tamlin is the uh, new school board rep for PMBC. Oh, hi. Hi, Tamlin. Hi. hi. How are you? Good to have you aboard. Thank you. Yeah. It, so, um, with no other comments, uh, motion to adjourn. Exactly. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I came in at the right time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Is there a second? Uh, I'll second. All in favor? Bob Romley, yes. Rich Crowley, um, yes. Brian Pasquale, yes. Steve Moore, yes. Thanks for your participation, and we'll see you in two weeks.